off with a special presentation of C Sparkles Corner. I'm for uh, something different. This is Minecraft. This here's my world. <clears throat> I've been building it, building here in this game solo for quite a while. This here is my estate. That's what I call it. It is the safest place in the entire map. The walls are three layers thick on the outside, and it's been it's been built in both a mix of create mode and survival mode and even the originally weakest point of the entire state has been lugged up this is a wooden door with a blockade of a piston door on to the entrance as you see it's got two beacons on the roof to symbolize this unique structure I've used beacons to help me find them currently all all the windows you see are set in the non-secure position. It's still technically a work in progress. The bridge will be leading to a future uh, starship hangar that will be carving into the mountain. I'm expecting that to probably widen the mountain out. <coughs> this here is the rather unique roof. You see I've got multiple fireplaces. Now I've been taking input from my friend Chris on some of the designs for this here, for the estate. This is my completely random lava fountain on the roof. That there is a village that I also built. This here is the main entrance. You see the iron doors? I got them rigged into switches because when I lock down the estate, I want to be able to shut the iron doors myself. Okay, let's start checking rooms out. This here is the bar. This is a slightly different bar than what I built later on. I've got here uh, switches used for taps. This here is the security to shut the shutter here. And I've got the boom box and so far all the different musics I've collected in Minecraft is in that chest. Now across the way over here we have we have the sitting room. This is the city texture pack by the way. It's, one, it's my favorite texture pack. There's a, t there's a wall mount TV, and I'm going to shut this one, so that way I know I've been in here. And uh, I set up a random stump lamp. This was an honest build, since this is a tour world, you know you start with a good inventory of redstone at the beginning. I did get all the achievements and costume pieces unlocked. Uh, unfortunately you will not be able to hear it but I have a special button which runs a musical tone and the door opens that says I am Mr. Fox this here is my uh, check-in guy because this is where civilians can come in this here is my room of museum art and paintings I will not be showing you all the secrets because this is just a quick once over tour of my estate for you to have a bit of a thrill Minecraft and uh, I got over here another civilian who was watching this one, but he's apparently gone inside right now. I used the villagers to give an illusion that the estate's much bigger than what it actually is. That there's rooms you can't even go into. This here is the balcony where I can look down at the nasties that are hanging out outside. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. This here is my no, roof okay. farm. Okay. At the same time while I'm filming this, I'm recording this. We got uh, doing a cake recipe too. I'm gonna go out here because, well, just to go out here, so I can finish this floor of my estate. Now I'm gonna go into here. This here is the uh, <coughs> standing room where you can stand and watch this TV instead. This room was ironically built by design due to something I built on the next floor down. Now I made it look like lava fountain goes down into here as well. Okay, <coughs> this here is the. These are iron doors here, which is operated by security, which is upstairs up here. I'm going to flip this switch here to shut those doors, so that way you can see where the control is for these doors. <coughs> now next to the art room, oh, there's one of my iron golems I built. This room here, this addition here was, I didn't know what to do with this space, so I decided, you know what, I'll just put all the blocks in here. I got sticky pistons, I got non-sticky pistons, I've even got up over here the furnaces, I've got 
coal. We got glowstones, non glowstones. It's basically every block's here. All of them. So, yeah. <coughs> I didn't know what to do with the space, so it became that. This here is uh, another space I don't know what to do with. So, it's just kind of here. And then this here is the security desk. This is supposed to be a monitor where somebody can be talking to the security officer and this monitor and it's a little draw for confiscation or whatever. This here is the uh, feed in for my potion brewing station, which is once they're down. This addition here is, well, it just kind of happened because I was watching a YouTube video of Snappy Long Longhead and it kind of, well, the side effects watching that video and I built this. <laughs> this here is the changing room. Again, a uh, shower curtain to give the illusion that there's another room in there. Make it look bigger than what it is. And then, going across the way over here. Going downstairs here. This here is the uh, office complex where somebody could be behind the desk here. Somebody could be sitting there. They could be talking. And I put ore samples in each of these offices. Here's the bigger office. This one, ironically, is this button here does two things, and I won't really bother showing it to you because I know you're not interested in seeing it. This office here's got a window and bars and drinks and gold ore. I mean, this is just a sweet office. I like that office. And while I'm over here, I'm going to show you this room over here. This here is the library. And if anyone who's played Minecraft knows what every library has to have under ten cows, you got lots of bookshelves. Yeah, yeah, don't say it. You start coming. I know you start coming. And then you go up here to my personal uh, glass topped gazebo for my estate. And here's the uh, exit. I'm going to go ahead and just shut this one here. So you can see this one shut. I did two uh, switches because I might just want to have it half open or all the way open depending on the need at the time. Okay? That's why it's set up like that. That's why I did it with the main entrance too. Because I might not want all the doors open. I want, want them partially open. I could wire it up with redstone so that way just one switch, boom, they both close. But I didn't want to. This here is the bottom floor for the uh, for the potion station. Which is where I would retrieve the request, requested item. And then this here is where I keep the extra water bottles. And that's the actual uh, enchanting station. This here is the uh, information desk. I see those doors are now closed. And then this here is to go downstairs, which I don't want to go down yet. I got, I mirrored these stairs here, just so you know. And then this here is uh, one of the small offices. This one got the diamond door. Small little office with diamond door. This one's got the redstone ore. Even a bookshelf. Okay, now going into here. This is my favorite room. This here is the brick room. When I was uh, building my estate, I could, did not have access to this room for a while. So I really was really kind of depressed. I was really pushing my building at the time to, so I get back in here. And then here is a completely random, huge block of coal. And the sign from Santa. That's why it's a block of coal. It is the ultimate joke. And then you see the stairs, you see the coal for the base. I mean, this room is just as random as I could think of making it. And I'm really pleased with the results. And then here's the fireplace. Like I said, I'm not showing you the secret rooms, okay? Because I'm just kind of showing you all my all my favorite rooms. I'm not showing you the really awesome secrets, okay? That, this is just an experiment to see if you like the video. All right, let's go downstairs. To the really cool, because this, in my opinion, is the coolest build. Okay, this floor here is not 100% complete. This here is my this is one of my storage rooms. This is the uh, gardening storage room, so I keep my gardening supplies. Now going downstairs, this here this has to lead to the auto sorter racks that are not in use. 
Now, this lever controls the infinite loop for the doorbell up there. And it's the Batman, da -da 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 Batman. This here is redstone storage because I like re to use redstone. This here's one of my bedrooms. This is my favorite bedrooms. This one here button makes the noise, but unfortunately you can't hear it because I'm recording me talking and I can't get the audio for the game to run so you won't hear it. Okay, and uh, it's even got a very lovely multi tier cabinet there. Going across the way, the hallway to this one. This here is, this was originally built to be my room, so I put the big uh, weird TV and I put samples of heads up there and I even put a redstone lamp. And then I ended up liking the room on the other side <laughs> better. <laughs> and I've got uh, the chest for me to keep whatever oh, I need at the time and then I got the little desk and the little, yeah. Just overall, it's a nice room. And then I go in here. Here's one of my bathrooms. Now, I got this one set up with a lever for the spigot because I wanted to variate the spigots a bit. I got one that uses the hook instead, and here's the toilet. And the button for the flush, which also ironically puts the lid up and then down, and then there's a the shower. This is supposed to be a digital interface for you to control the shower because I wanted this house to be really ultra high-end technology. That's what you know it's got monitors everywhere. And uh, I took his advice and I used this. I don't remember what YouTube video it was, but that's the toilet paper dispenser. Okay, whoops, I went started going to the front again. Silly me. Okay, over here is this area here, I didn't know what to do with it. So I kind of made it another bar. Here's a pool table. Badminton court or tennis table table tennis. Here's a lovely better bar. I really like this one better. It's got the drink racks, it's got the dispensers, everything. This is just an all around better looking bar. Okay. And then I got the I really truly wanted these reverse, but when I got the one I wanted up there, I was like, I'll leave it and then these are supposed to be pool balls, and then that's to get pool cues, and then this is just for you to ha keep your drinks in. <clears throat> this here is the kitchen and food storage chamber. That's supposed to be a brick oven. And that there's the refrigerators, and the, yeah, this is all around. That's an okay room, and I'm not really looking to improve it any. I might go back and revisit some of the stuff. And over here, roulette! Woo! Yeah, I, I gotta admit it. I wanted to figure out something random to put there, so I put a roulette wheel. Okay, there you have it. Now, you can go ahead and put a comment or whatever, because I got other stuff I built in this world. I just wanted to show off the public area of the estate, and these stairs here goes directly up to here. Which you go, in, go into here. And then, this is the route you, you take from the bottom floor up to security. There's a security desk. This is how the security officer gets up here. Alright, thank you for watching 13 Minutes of My State.